kid. Perhaps you notice I'm wearing this adventure hat. Perhaps you notice I too am wearing an adventure hat. And I am wearing an adventure bandana. Now we just need to set the setting. Ooh, you know what's gonna happen now? Magic in three, two, one. <gasps> Welcome to the great outdoors. Yes, we're gonna go visit the national parks. Also, that hat is kind of big on you. I know, but they tell me that I'm gonna grow into it, so it's okay. Oh, good idea. I, have, I too have to grow into this bed, Dad. It's rather large. That's because it's mine. Hello, National Parks. Good to see you. Oh, have you been to a National Park? If you haven't, you are in for such a treat. We have here in America over 400 National Parks, 419 to be precise, in case you need that for a book report one day. And here we're about to take a look at what makes them so awesome. Welcome to our national parks, says the book. Why, thank you. It's very nice to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. To our national parks, let's get ready to go for lots of adventure in sunshine or snow. Our parks tell the stories of our nation's past, the land and its people so varied and vast. That's right. And here we see Oh, so many iconic things. That's right. That's right. We have a national park with lava and homes uh, from, from native tribes that were etched into the stone. Here we have a national monument, national monument, national monument. Oh, yeah. We have a lot to see. At the visitor center, we'll plan out our day with a map and some info. We'll be off and away. I love the visitor center because then I get all the little maps and all the little uh, flyers and things that tell me everything I'm going to see because I want to know everything. And here, as you can see, there's a geyser. So I am guessing that this is Yellowstone because they have geysers, Poof. hot steam and water just bubbling out of the earth like magic. Here, I know what this is because I have been to this one, the Everglades, the Everglades National Park in Florida, where yes, indeed, there are uh, alligators and snakes and egrets and flamingos and butterflies and manatees. Oh my. We'll become junior rangers and make it our duty to protect special places of wonder and beauty. This is the Grand Canyon. Isn't it gorgeous? And yes, you can become a junior ranger and they give you special stuff when you're at the park as a junior ranger. You're going to love it. Let's learn about habitats where animals live, eat, and sleep from a mountain so tall to the ocean so deep. Park days are busy. It's time for a rest. Have a snack and some water. This day is the best. So a storyteller had a picnic just like this with an eagle who looked just like that at the Grand Canyon. That's right, because you actually get exhausted from all your walking and sightseeing. So you take a little snack and then the squirrel's watching you and then the deer's watching you and then hopefully not a bear. I mean, unless it's a green bear, then it's fine. As we hike through the park, We'll sketch what we see. Take some great photos. Come on, follow me. This is the Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. Isn't that beautiful? The only bridge I think uh, possibly in the world that was left that color. You look, you smell, you listen, you touch, you take field notes and tons and tons of photos. The American spirit and our heritage too. The parks can serve all of this for me and for you. I know you think park, you think outside, but some of the parks are actually inside and they're in cities like this one right here. This is Independence National Historic Park in Philadelphia with the Liberty Bell. So it's historic and the national parks take care of it because it's part 
of our American heritage. And this is part of the National Mall. And you're thinking, a mall? A mall is a national park? Not that kind of a mall with like a kiosk and a Sephora. No, not that kind of mall. It is the, the Washington Mall. So you have the Washington Monument and you have, this is the MLK um, uh, you know, area. And then this is the Abraham Lincoln Memorial. And well, it's just stupendous. It, you can spend days and days there. Let's look through our binos and see animals roam. We can't get too close. The parks are their home. Observe, look, and listen. What do you hear? Nests, tracks, and scat are clues of who's near. Now, now we end, yeah, now we're back to the outdoors. So what do we have here? We got a green sea turtle. That's right, because it's from, from seas to mountains to everything is on these national parks. So you've got a green sea turtle, you've got a porcupine, an alligator, ooh, almost got by his mouth. A uh, rattlesnake, the moose, a snowshoe hare, a bison, a bighorn sheep, an American beaver, da -da 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 -da. a Gila monster, salamander, and oh, look at that. Is that an otter? And there's Uncle Sam and his nephew Sammy. The park sky is starry. Let's camp out tonight. Sing songs round a fire. Then snuggle up tight. There are over 400 national parks to explore. Each day's an adventure as we discover some more. Look at that beautiful little toasty fire underneath the stars and they're camping at what looks to me like Yosemite. I've been there and it is awesome. And yes, the sign is correct. You get nature, you get history, and you get culture. And you find out more and more about what came before us and why things were preserved and the people who live there and the, the, you know, the country in its full natural state. That's what you really go to see, what it looked like. And you know, the, the, the national parks are the closest thing to what America looked like before there were people here. You know, completely natural. Oh, so that's why you could see bears that are not green? But hello, everybody knows that the bears that are green are the best bears. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I am only best friend with green bears, uh, specifically that bear. Yeah, and I'm only best friend with one half dragon, half dinosaur, and that's you, Doug. My hat's coming off. That's okay, you'll grow into it. That's what I hear. Where are we going next? Well, I, uh, I do have a list of the parks that I wish to go to. Ooh, 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 ooh. where are they? Where are we going to go? Well, uh, I want to visit uh, Yellowstone. Oh, where the geysers are. <laughs> Is that what they sound like? I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> also, I want to go to Bryce Canyon in Zion. That's in Utah. I hear it's beautiful. Oh, I saw a picture once. What did you see? It was red. A lot of rocks and they were red. That sounds about right. Sounds about right to me too. Also, if we get really adventurous, maybe we'll go to Alaska one day. Oh, good thing I have fur. Yeah, good thing I have scales. Yeah. Good thing I have a coat uh, because there's uh, one there called Denali. And if we go warm, like I like, uh -oh, I might get hot. You might, but I would like to go to the dry Tortugas in Florida. Ooh, Tortuga. Tortuga is Spanish for turtle. Ooh, turtles, they're green like us. Oh, cool. Then we could probably make a new friend. Sounds like a plan. So get your map mind thinking about all the adventures you're gonna have one day because it is a beautiful world to explore. See you next time, kid. Hey, you guys gonna do this thing? Uh, oh, 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 okay, on right, kid time. Sorry time, where we are adventurers.